Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a Bitscap DCA or dollar cost average grid bot strategy. And this strategy, in my opinion, is the right way to DCA. So let's get to it. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, they're basically an all-in-one crypto trading platform, but they're best known really for their crypto trading bots and more specifically their grid bots. And I have been using their grid bots for at least a couple years, both in the previous bull market and now currently in the bear market. So if you'd like to give one of these grid bots a shot, you can sign up for their seven day free trial. And in fact, you can actually trade in demo mode and not actually put any of your funds at risk. Now, if you're not familiar with how one of these grid bots actually operates, it's pretty simple. For the DCA grid bot we will be deploying today, you're basically looking for the price to go down and you dollar cost average in, and in this case, each green line would represent an open limit buy order or a grid and so when the price of bitcoin in this case would drop and hit one of these green lines it would execute a buy order at that price and the way i prefer to dollar cost average is to actually spread out these grids so that i'm not buying the same amount every time i want to buy a little more as the price goes down for instance, this first buy level or grid level, the bot would execute an order for 53 USDT worth of Bitcoin. The next order would be 79 USDT, then 119, then 179, and then eventually down here, 268 USDT, which if all these orders were executed, you'd end up with a dollar cost average price for your Bitcoin of 24,000, rather than, for instance, a buy and hold strategy, if you just bought and held right now at, say, 26,000, you're going to be paying $2,000 more for your Bitcoin than you would if you dollar cost average in, assuming all of your orders get filled. And then on the flip side, you can take profit and you can set that profit level pretty much at any level you want. For instance, right now you can see for this particular bot, if I had it deployed, the take profit is in the form of a trailing take profit. And I have that set up here around 29,700, which would be prior resistance. So I could take profit up around this level with a dollar cost average price of 24,000 that would be a fairly good profit. In fact, that would be just around a, I believe, a 24% profit. And since this is a trailing take profit, it is possible that you could capture more profit if the price goes up and doesn't actually pull back and take out your order. So with that all being said, let's get one of these bots deployed. And so the first thing you'll need to do is log into your Bitscap account You'll also want to make sure you have an exchange connected to the Bitscap platform. You don't actually send any money to Bitscap. They send orders on your behalf via API keys through your exchanges. And in this case, I'll be using Binance US for my exchange. And it's an extremely simple process to add the exchange. You just click on the add new exchange button, select your exchange from the drop down, and then put in your API keys that you create over on your exchange. There's a video in my playlist that goes step by step for that. I'm not going to get into that today. Now, once you have your exchange connected, you're ready to deploy this DCA grid bot. You just come over here to the start new bot button. Give that a click and you'll see you have a choice of a few different bots. In this case, I am going to select the spot because I actually want to buy and hold the Bitcoin futures. You don't actually own the asset. You're trading futures contracts and that's not really ideal for DCA in my opinion. So I select spot and then drop down here to the DCA bot. Give that a click. That will bring you over here to the dashboard for the create DCA bot and the parameters that you now need to set. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is select your exchange. Again, my exchange is going to be Binance US. The pair will be BTC USDT. Obviously, you can select from all the different pairs your exchange offers. 
For me, this bot is more about accumulating an asset I want to hold and I want to accumulate that asset at a lower price. And with that being said, the traditional DCA strategy is a very bad strategy. Your traditional DCA strategy is you buy a fixed amount of the asset regardless of price. If the price is going up, you're still buying. If the price is going down, you're still buying a fixed amount, like say $100 a week or $100 a day, regardless of price. That is not how your top investors actually dollar cost average. Your top investors buy when the price goes down and they sell when the price goes up. And that is what this DCA bot does. It does not buy when the price is going up. It will only buy when the price is going down. So with that being said, let's move on. And the strategy is going to be long. Again, I want to buy and hold at a lower price, assuming the price will eventually rebound and go back up. Now I need to give the bot some ammo and let's just say we start with 900 USDT. That number might change when I start making manual adjustments. So we click on manual adjustments because I prefer to manually configure all my bots. I never use the default settings. So the first option is bot settings. And the first parameter under bot settings is when do I want the bot to actually start? I have the choice of immediately for the first order, which would be at whatever the current price of Bitcoin is at right now. Or I could select an indicator like MACD or RSI for the bot to fire off its first order. But in this case, I am going to select immediately. The base order amount, which is going to be the very first order this bot places as soon as I deploy it, I want it to be a small amount because I actually want more of my ammo spent later on in the battle. And so I will set that to 25 USDT and I want it to be a market order because I want it to fire off as soon as I deploy this bot. Next, I need to configure the averaging of orders and the remaining 875 of that original 900 USDT is available. And so now I need to determine how many orders I want the bot to place. And so if we click in, let's say four orders, you can now see there are four green lines on the chart. Those are my open limit orders that the bot would buy at each time the price reached down to those levels. Now I need to average order step percentage and that will basically space out these orders according to my average step level. And so I will bump that up to let's say 0.9%, almost 1% between each one of these levels. And then I have the option of amount multiplier and I can bump that up to the max of 2x. So now my spacing has grown even more. And then my step multiplier, I can crank that up and you'll see again the spacing between each one of these orders has gotten greater. And so more of my funds are being invested as the price goes down. Thus, I'm dollar cost averaging at a lower cost. And the very last order of the four orders I have outstanding would come out around 22,700, giving me a DCA cost of around 23.8. So now that I'm satisfied with my grid spacing, the next thing I need to determine is my take profit and stop loss. Now, Normally, I would always recommend a stop loss. However, for this particular strategy, for my risk purposes, I'm not looking for a stop loss. I'm just looking to buy and hold Bitcoin. I'm willing to ride Bitcoin all the way down because eventually I am confident it will go back up. Now, that's not investment advice. This video is for informational purposes only. And thus, you need to do your own recon and determine your own risk as far as any investment goes. At the end of the day, you're the only one responsible for those decisions that you make. So now I want to determine my take profit level. And yes, I do sell my Bitcoin occasionally for profit. If you were around during the last bull run, I actually sold some of my Bitcoin up around 64,000. I did not sell it at the top, 
but I sold it at 64,000. And when the Bitcoin price dipped back down into the 30s, I bought double the amount of Bitcoin because of the profit that I had taken off up around 64,000. That is how you actually grow your wealth. But moving on, so take profit, I can just do a regular profit where I set my profit level at say 3% and you'll see that the take profit moved up to 3% and that's 3% from the DCA price assuming that all my orders got hit. Or I can set it as a trailing take profit which basically means it will trail or follow the price up. And once we get a retracement back down, it will lock in even greater profit. And so I want my trailing take profit trigger at, let's shoot for say 13%. Let's see where that went to. And so that put my take profit up around this level where we saw prior resistance. And that's coming in right around 29.6 and that seems like a decent level for me now because this is a trailing take profit i need to determine how far i want the price to retrace back before actually taking that profit and in this case we'll give it some room to run back on us of at least 0.9 percent so almost a one percent trailing take profit and since there's the potential of giving up one percent Let's take this to 15%, which you can see it moved the stop loss up to the top of these wicks and back into this resistance area. That is a valid level of resistance on the Bitcoin charts. Again, I'm going to skip the stop loss because I'm willing to buy and hold long term. I never recommend copying what I do. My risk tolerance is more than likely very different than your risk tolerance. So at the end of the day, you need to make your own decision. Now the final parameters that we can set are under the risk management tab. Now you can enable or disable the pump and dump protection. I generally turn that off. I'm okay with prices pumping and dumping in Bitcoin. That's the nature of the beast. So you might want to consider avoiding pumps and dumps. If the price pumps up, might sell you out. Same thing if it pumps down. All these orders might not get filled. You might just get the lower order filled. I'm fine with that. Next is your target total profit. So you could set this up if you wanted to set just a fixed profit percentage of say something like 30%. That could be a possibility uh, if the price just continues to go straight up, never retraces and takes out your trailing take profit. That might be an option that you're willing to take your funds off at 30%. I'll leave that enabled just to see if we actually can hit that allowed total loss i'm not going to enable that again that would be something where you're basically setting up a stop loss maximum price this would be more in line with a traditional grid bot where you have your upper level and then your minimum price would be your lower level i'm willing to let the bot follow the price up and down the chart so i'm not going to set a max price or a minimum price now apparently I can back test this so let's click on back test and see what happens and so for the one month date range you see we don't get any profit taking and so the back test is really kind of worthless as far as this particular strategy but again I don't put much weight in back tests they are based on past performance and they never guarantee future performance but it's an option there for you if you want to give it a shot now we just need to click on continue that will bring up basically the stats for this bot my exchange is binance us the pair is btc usdt my strategy is long the investment amount is 900 usdt my very first order is only going to be 25 usdt i want to buy obviously the least amount at the current highest price based on the lowest amount being down here where i want to buy the most my base order will be a market type. My bot will start immediately with that base order. My average orders total $875. So if you add up all these grids, it'd be 875 USDT, not dollars, but USDT. My average order quantity is four. I have four grid levels essentially. The average order step is 0.9%, but it's multiplied by two and my step multiplier was also times two. 
Then I have the trailing take profit triggered at 15%. I basically have a price deviation of almost 1%. And so the bot will stay in the battle until the price retraces back that almost 1%. Take profit percentage of average price. And then my take profit order type again, market order. If I hit my target, I want out immediately. And then my risk management, I have a target total profit of 30%. And that would assume the price never retraces this 0.9%. It goes on a run on up past 15% all the way to 30%. I will just go ahead and lock my profit in at that 30%. So now we just need to click start bot. The bot is starting up. The bot has started. And now my grid has populated the chart or the open orders are now placed on the chart, these green lines. And we sit back and wait and see if Bitcoin can dump down here to around 22,700. And if it does dump down here, then we'll just look for the price to pump back out and lock in some profit. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I will do an update video in the future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.